Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwi Classics and Customs. Today we're going to be putting a headliner in the 65 Fastback. Right now, this is the headliner. Right now we just got it stretched out and um, you know letting some of the wrinkles um, you know settle out of it because they pack it up real tight in the box. So that's just uh, breathing, as it were. Uh, what we're going to do is put some sound deadener up in the roof, otherwise it's going to sound like you're driving in a tin can, which you kind of are in a way. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is what I prefer to use. They call it jute. Uh, it's kind of what you find under your carpets. It's an underfelt. Um, the thing not to use is this. This is like your um, your sound deadener that everybody loves to put on over the floors and everywhere. Don't put it up in the roof. Uh, the roof, the temperature of the roof will hit you know easily clear 100, 100 degrees, 130, 40 degrees even on a hot day, and. This stuff is self-adhesive and it will just let go and just start to sag into your headlining. So don't use that. Use this. Um, now, gluing it on. This is the stuff to use, Wellwood. And it's Landau Top and Trim Glue. You can buy it online. Uh, you have to put it in a spray gun. Please don't fall into the trap of buying the aerosol cans of contact you know, upholstery adhesive. It's just not strong enough. It's not going to do the job. You're going to be pulling one side of the headliner and the other side's going to pop off and you'll just be chasing your tail and wishing you'd never done it. So yeah, get some of that. Um, you probably buy it in court cans. Um, yeah, uh, get yourself a, deep, a spray gun. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. This, is an, uh, this one's made for the upholstery glue. It's got a little bit bigger tip in it. Uh, you can just use a cheapy, you know, $30 gun. All you need, you don't need a... Yeah, look, you don't need a gravity feed gun, just one of these. And basically, cut your piece to size, start spraying some glue. So. Now, be generous. You know, you do need a fair bit. It's, um, you know, you want it to stay there. Yeah, nice even, you know, reasonably even coat over all of it. To get, it get it well covered, then it's into the car. You go around that way, Barry, you can probably watch me. This is not like painting a car, you're just jamming it on, it doesn't have to be in any pattern or just, you just need to get it wet. Okay, so that's enough on there. Now give it a few minutes to dry off, to tack off, it is a contact adhesive. If you put it on straight away when it's wet, it'll just drop straight off again. So let it dry till it's you know just tacky to touch and you can slam it up there. Okay, so it's tacked off now. You can it's not stringing on your hands. Pick up your piece, kind of fold it in half, just makes it a bit more manageable. And let's put it in. Having folded in half, you can just kind of half and half it on the roof and just there are the glasses. This is not an exact science, you're just trying to cover as much of the roof as you can. Just to stop that ringing. And there you go. 
That's kind of the easy bit. Right, okay. Time to get the headlining ready. Uh, this is the nice brand new one. It has these three little seams here with the, that's the little piece of uh, material that's sewn in there, which your uh, bows go in, your headliner bows. Now when you're taking them out of the car, when you originally strip the, the uh, headlining out, you need to keep these bows and you need to number them, all right? With front, you know, for the front one, and then, you know, two, three, four, five, however many you've got, they do need to go in the same order because the roof is never like parallel sides. They usually tape it one way or the other. So it's critical where these go. So do mark them because you won't remember. Uh, yeah, so we can just slide these in. Just get rid of your little tag. And they will slide in the loop. If you can see. Then just try and center them up roughly in the middle. They always put more loop on than you need. So get that centralized and then just cut some of the loop away. Only the loop though, not the headline. And cut it back so you've got, I don't know, an inch and a half of this little bow sticking out. Obviously you need to do that at both ends. So, yeah. Get that done and you'll be ready to put a bit of glue on the car and on the headline. Like so. Done. Okay, so it's time to get the headlining actually glued in. So I've just been spraying some glue around like that. And pretty primitive, but just a little bit of cardboard and just hold it in the way of wherever you're spraying. And that'll, uh, that'll stop you making a huge mess. Then uh, the headlining, that's just probably a four or five inch perimeter around the headlining. So that's ready to go in. And then it's pick it up by the bows. And that's the first thing we're going to do is clip the bows in. So let's try doing that. You see these little holes here? This is where they clip into. Start with the front one. And then just kind of hold it up roughly where it should be. Pops in the hole. You know, try not to let it roll back on itself too much. It does that. Which is a bit of a pain. Now if you come in close Barry you'll see there's a couple of little fine wires here that get clipped in at the back. These hook over this rear bow and that just gives it a little bit of support. So those, it's just a thin wire. <laughs> We're on camera so it's not playing of course. Right, that just clips in. Same with that one, that means you can pull against this and it's not going to give up. Right. Now being as this is contact, 
doesn't really stick that well unless you squeeze it and press it down hard. So when it bunches up on itself like this, don't, don't stress, that's okay. Now. I'm just gonna just bring that back a little bit. Take it down. This is when you really, when you pull it into the front opening is when you need to really start applying some tension. You do, the most common mistake people make is not putting enough tension in your headlining. It's got to be kind of, kind of tight like a drum. So pull it forward, like start in the middle, pull it forward and pull it out a little as well. So you're kind of working semi side right just keep pulling it forward and taking it down yeah it's well, you can hear that but that's that's tight so just take it back that way wrinkles in the in here but again don't stress now it's time to pull it out to the side and that's where you'll lose the vast majority of these wrinkles so give it you know you probably have to use both hands don't be scared to get it tight it will get hot in the sun and it will relax and it's going to want to sag on you so when you think it seems pretty tight just pull it a little bit tighter and you'll be and you'll be somewhere there. And as you pull them, you can see the wrinkle will start to disappear. Hey, you can see this side starting to look like a nice headlining over here not so much but we'll get to that we're coming back there but yeah it's uh it's about where we want it to be and so just keep pulling things tight and you'll see the wrinkles just start to disappear Again, be in contact adhesive as you push it down, that's when it's going to grab on us. So make sure you're kind of happy with where it is before you really push down on it. Because that is when it's going to grab. Oh, we'll quickly switch side. Ooh, get the sweat on. Yeah. As I think you can see, see all these wrinkles? 
Hopefully you can see them. As we pull this tight, they're going to disappear. See, that's gone. This is running my hand across to help drag it across. It's going to go there. Now, if it takes you a little bit longer than what it's taking me and your glue starts to dry, it will get dry enough where it just won't take. Spray a little bit more on, brush a little bit more on, it will like reactivate. So, the thing is just not to, uh, not to panic too much, you know. Pull that down. And so early, I'd say it's almost time for a beer, <laughs> but it is it's not even lunch time yet. That. that is basically that. Obviously, we've got some trimming to do, roll it around the edges, cut it off. Get it all trimmed and then we get the pinch weld molding that little black strip that goes around here over the edges and we can also move on get the front and rear glass in because this wraps around the opening that the windshields go into so yeah it's a uh, good little step forward but yeah any other questions guys you know put it in the comments i'll do my best to answer them but that's really how you put a headliner in a 65 fastback okay see you on the next one